So after finally getting one shortlist trophy in our second piebald gold gator, it's time to go after another one. And I was looking at the multi mount right underneath it, the breadwinner mount with the lions and Cape Buffalo. And that got me thinking we should head back to Verhunga Savannah. Now, the nice thing about this hunt is instead of just chasing one particular thing like the gator, there's a whole bunch of really cool stuff on Verhunga like we so often talk about. From rare springbuck and wildebeest, I still want a male diamond gemsbuck to really a bunch of other things. There's a lot to go after and we can essentially just let the hunt take us where it will. So pretty decent level four springbuck there. And it looked like the 22250 punched into a lung. It did indeed. Only ran probably about 50 meters. And our first kill is gonna be a 73 scoring gold springbuck. Not too bad considering the angle. Got in there at 227 meters. But as you guys know, my absolute favorite way to hunt is to not target one particular species and just kind of run around. Pretty excited to get to do that here today on Africa. Ooh, that's... That's a rare widgeon, isn't it? Level 1 male, but something sticks out about that. Like, it looks like almost leucistic or something. There's no way we're going to hit it. And rather than, like, spook them and interrupt where they're flying to, I think we're best off just setting up decoys and trying to bring them in. Question is, do we want to go where they're coming from or where they're headed? I think we'll go south to north. I honestly don't think I've ever seen so many Widgeon on one map. Like, they're all over the place. I had to stop recording and go back and get the estimate because there's so many birds. I just felt like it's too likely we miss it. So, I think it was 661 to 751 or something like that. Gonna be looking for the estimate in the air as much as them landing. And the hope is eventually... They end up back in this location. If we gotta move, we will. In the meantime, I guess we'll start picking off some of the males and maybe reducing the number they're gonna come over here. You know, another thing that can be a problem, and we've got some ducks flying over. That's about the size. Oh, that's him there, I think. I don't even have decoys out. I really wanted to kill that lion before they might show up. That's the estimate, though. That's gotta be the right bird. I think it looks a little bit different. I really can't tell now at this angle. Guess we'll just have to let him land and try to get a shot in him. From the back, it looked like there was some sort of silvery, maybe white feathers. So I, I can't imagine there's two with the exact same estimate. So they're about to land. And again, the lions, I, I just feel like we, oh, can we even see them? Oh man. Well, I hope there's not a lion close because well, can we get a shot there? I think so. Completely blind. I, I know we got him. I'm just not sure if that was the right one or like what's going on. I just hope that was it. Because this can be such a pain. I mean, we've chased rare birds in multiplayer literally for hours. So let's see what we're looking at. Is this some kind of special Eurasian widget? Oh, yeah. That most certainly is. Leucistic male widgeon. 706 score. Knew it wasn't going to be a gold because he was a level 1 male. That is awesome. Double lunged him through the brush. I was so nervous that was going to be the wrong one. Not bad. Since I stopped recording to check the estimate 14 minutes, I have seen it go a whole lot worse. Definitely one of the duck species that I didn't think we'd ever get a rare of because we struggled just to get a diamond, but pretty darn cool. That'll definitely be a second lodge edition, and not one of the really litany of trophies from Verhunga that I wanted to get, those shortlist things we talked about in the intro, but I will absolutely take something like that. It's probably rarer than some of them. Now, one thing I actually had planned to do from the very beginning of this hunt was to just find a Gemsbuck and take it with the 4570 pistol. The last time we are here on Verhunga, we kind of accidentally used the 300, which is no longer ethical, and on the off chance we would find something good, wow, that was a lucky heart shot. I just wanted to get it through my head that for Gemsbuck, we got to use this and not the old 300. So wanted to do that. And we happened to get host of this server. Honestly, I don't even know when, probably when we were distracted by that widgeon. So I decided to make it early morning and we'll actually get to chase Gemsbuck and Wildebeest a bit in their drink zones. And I mean, very clearly, even though we can't use the 300 anymore, Still got weapons more than capable of getting the job done. Didn't even try to make a hard shot. Got that in there just barely 291 scoring gold. 
not a bad sized male. So I think they only drink till 6 a.m. We'll try to jump around and maybe hit a number of spots. And I mean, there's always different ways to use the 300. This guy's aggressive. I think the first shot was fine, but figured we'd get a follow up in there too. Haven't even really encountered many K Buffalo, which I guess that's kind of a product of just where we've been hunting so far, but just a little silver. Kind of had no other choice there. That's a pretty nice wildebeest. Being spooked by a lion. And I mean, we literally have the 4570 pistol as our one way to try to get it. I guess we can try. But on a dead run like that, that's going to be really tough. I mean, the mere fact that we hit it, I'm just surprised that we even did that. He's going down. Didn't get that shot. Probably better off zoomed out. I don't even know if we can get a follow-up now. I have no clue. He died. <laughs> but we're at the very end of Gemsbok drink time already. It goes so fast. And I think we started at like 540 something there just to go and get one with that handgun. I don't even see any of this bot. So, oh, they're leaving right now? Is there anything decent? They've either heard my shots. At that distance, I think that's probably the case. Or there could be a lion. I don't see anything really big enough to worry about, so I guess we'll start scooting backwards and see what happened with the wildebeest. If maybe a big one comes out of there, we'll just sort of run this way so we can see. No way. It had to be liver, because he died, like, pretty darn slow. <laughs> the mere fact that we hit vitals. Had it been a level 5, I probably wouldn't have tried something like that. Certainly a potential diamond as a 4, but I just wanted to see if we could actually get him and go figure. Somehow we landed that shot. Now, we tried a follow-up. I have no idea if maybe could have, like, clipped him in the skull or something, but other than that, we should at least get the full score. So, blood here doesn't look like any other hits. No way. <laughs> Diamond Wildebeest, I don't know if it was on a dead run. On the run for sure. And only because they have like the most, like, so look at this. If it was the other way around, I don't think we hit the liver. Because the liver looks like it ends right there on this side. I'm pretty sure just the shape of the liver and the angle we had allowed that shot to land. That was actually really cool. Not something we try very often. Again, it sort of has to be this scenario where it's a level four, not super likely it makes diamond, but it can happen. One of the cooler shots we've made on a diamond ever. I, I don't know that there's any point in tax on it. We have a bunch of these. I don't know. I mean, maybe just for the sake that we made that particular shot, we'll do it. I don't know when the next time we'll even attempt something like that is, but might have to try it again just because we did it. And go figure, some of the better games buck we found happen to be not in the drink zones as we're coming down here to check for Wildebeest, which actually this is where we killed the, the two Diamond Wildebeest back to back the last time. And I wondered, I'm probably not going to push our luck and try a 300 meter shot with the 4570 handgun. We'll just scoot to within 200, maybe Try a frontal hard shot. Are we closer than it looked? I think we are. All right, well, forget the hard shot idea. If we can just get him broadside, had we reloaded last time, we could already be doing that, but I think we alerted them and they're just trying to walk away. So that'll work. I heard a lion. It's the biggest one I've actually seen this server. I haven't ha had a single max weight one, but not a bad little bonus against Buck here. 301 for him. Double lung just above the heart that time was. What, like 40 meters closer than the last one? So we're going to scoot down here to the double lake. It sometimes is really good for Wildebeest. I don't know if it's maybe getting here too early on certain servers or what, but usually there seems to be three or four drink zones between the two lakes. Nothing super crazy here. Got some widgeon taken off too. Not seeing anything really special at all. So I guess we'll just get that big three in the middle. Maybe we can try to land a hard shot, but it's going to be sort of an awkward distance. That ought to do. And as they so often seem to be, another just bizarre crazy hunt out here on Verhunka Savannah. Chasing a rare widgeon around our first male rare widgeon, which is really cool. And we're going to take that back to the second lodge as we clip the absolute bottom of the heart there on that wildebeest. And we'll bring our bizarre on-the-run diamond wildebeest along with them. 
So even though this one outscores the one we got today by quite a bit, that's actually a level 5 that's nearly the Bighorns. Effectively, it looks the same in the Lodge, and just the circumstances around this one, we're going to put him there instead. And I never thought I'd see the day this Lodge with all these tiny little flags starts to fill up, but the more rare birds we get, the more we finally get to see that happen. So a leucistic male widgeon, after we got a leucistic female in Africa probably close to a year ago or thereabouts, that was, wow, that's crazy. Down to three days from being a year apart? What are the odds? Something about hunting for Hunga in April. Maybe we ought to keep on doing that for the rest of the month. We shall see. But that was pretty darn cool. I just, for everything to work out the way it did, the diamond wildebeest after getting that rare widgeon, not a terrible hunt for it, all things considered. Pretty good time out there on Africa. And like I said, maybe we'll have to go back in the near future. But anyway, that is going to do it for this video. As always, thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you next time.